Welcome to another training session. In today's session, we will learn how we can make a logic in S7 1200 PLC to calculate the RPM of the motor using an encoder. Before going further, I would like to request you guys to please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials. We have connected an incremental encoder with 360 pulses per revolution to the back end of the motor shaft. The encoder shaft will rotate as the motor shaft rotates. We have connected A and B phase output wire of the encoder at I0.0 .0 and I0.1 inputs of the PLC. If you want to see the detailed video regarding the encoder connection with the S7 1200 PLC, the video link is in the description box. Now let's go to the TIA portal software and make a logic to calculate the RPM of the motor. We will create a new project in the TIA portal and select the correct part number of the CPU we have. If we open the properties of the CPU and go to the high speed counters menu, here you have total 6 counters. We will enable the high speed counter number 1. Next set the type of the counting as the frequency. Now the high speed counter will count the number of encoder pulses in 1 second. Set the operating phase as the AB counter as we have connected A and B as we have connected A and B phase wires to the PLC. The rest of the options we can keep as it is. No need to change anything else. Next, if we scroll down, we can find the I/O addresses. The address of the high speed counter number one is ID 1000. Next, we will go back to the main block OB1, and here we will insert the move instruction. We will move the high speed counter value from the ID1000 to the memory MD1000. We can rename ID1000 as HSC channel 1 and MD1000 as encoder pulses in 1 second. Next we will insert the multiplication instruction on the network number 2. We will multiply MD1000 encoder pulses in 1 second with 60. The result will be pulses in 1 minute. We can save the result in MD10 and we can rename the tag as encoder pulses in 1 minute. Next we will insert the division instruction. We will divide the MD10 encoder pulses in, in 60 seconds with 360 as we are using encoder with 360 pulses per revolution. We can save the result in MD20. The result will be the RPM. Next we will download the program into the PLC and let's see how does it works. As you can see that as we start the motor the logic starts to work and it is showing the RPM in the MD20 memory. So this is how we can make a logic in S7-1200 PLC to calculate the RPM of the motor using encoder. Before leaving, I would request you guys to please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials. Till next time, take care and goodbye.